Hello friends, welcome back to another flight attendant vlog. My name is Alyssa, I'm a Seattle-based flight attendant and I love taking you guys on my trips with me. I started a four-day block yesterday and I just had airport standby from 12 to 5 p.m. and got a lot of work done, it was nice. I was working on my taxes and just caught up with family and stuff like that and then tonight it's easter sunday and so i got to go to church this morning which was really nice and have the whole day to just rest and i'm scheduled for airport standby tonight from 6 p.m till 11 p.m but i've been checking my schedule just because i was like okay easter someone's got to like call out like i kind of had a feeling that they're gonna use me and i just checked my schedule i'm getting ready to leave for work in like the next 20 30 minutes i got a three-day trip i'm going to vancouver tonight which i've never been to i'm super stoked for however i don't think i can pack any food so that I'm a little bummed out about because it just costs a lot of money to eat out all the time. Super short layover tonight, only 12 hours in Vancouver. And then tomorrow night, I have a 17 hour Missoula layover. And that is one of my favorite layovers of all time. So a new layover that I've never been to in Missoula. I'm pretty stoked about it. And I think I get holiday pay today. So that's also a bonus to get some premium pay as well. So I am going to start getting ready for work and I'll catch you guys when I head out. I made it to the airport, heading up. I am posted up in my, my little corner. I just got off the phone with my parents, was just talking to them, wishing them a happy Easter. And I've got quite a bit of time. My flight isn't until... 10.55 today to Vancouver tonight. They have like a report time of an hour before. I usually head out like 40 minutes before my flight because uh, we start boarding at 25 minutes before takeoff time. Our rule is that we have to be there 30 minutes before the plane leaves and so that gives you five minutes to do your pre-flight and get situated. I am in the middle of working on my Maui part two vlog. I'm editing that right now. And so I'll probably just work on that. For the remainder of the time, I'm gonna check in with my man, see how he's doing. He's getting ready to go spend some time with his family, which I'm really happy for him. The plan is to just edit away, edit my little heart away until I get that vlog done. Hopefully I can get it up by tomorrow. If I can get it tonight, that's a bonus, but probably tomorrow. And then I've just got my little Kindle. I'm gonna read and just cruise and hang out and hydrate here until it's time to head out for my flight. I'll check in in a little bit. All right, I've got about 20 minutes until I start boarding, so I'm gonna head down to my plane. I am heading out to my plane. We are headed to Vancouver. I'm gonna get my pre-flight done. We've got like 20 minutes until we start boarding, and then I'm gonna get situated. I don't think I'm doing service on this one. I need to double check, but let's get to Vancouver. No. I made it to my plane, but I'm the first one here, so I'm just waiting for the rest of the crew because I know that the other girl I'm working with is more senior than me, so I'm just waiting to see if I'm gonna work in the front or the back tonight so I can get my pre-flight done. All right, I finished my pre-flight, friends, and we are getting ready to board. It's a 29-minute flight, so we are not doing service. I'm working in the back, so I'll just be doing a mount. No, I better get my words right. I'll just be doing some announcements over the PA and hanging tight until we land in Vancouver. Alright friends, it is 12.42 a.m. I just got into my room. It definitely took a little bit longer because we had to clear customs and we had to wait for our shuttle for a little while before we were able to get to our hotel, but we just got here. I am going to get out of my uniform and just kind of get situated. I need to connect to the Wi-Fi because apparently I just realized that my phone service plan does not include international. So I'm gonna sort that out, get onto the Wi-Fi let my boyfriend know that I landed safely and then I'm gonna wind down and just get ready for bed. I wanna wake up early and go do some exploring. This is a really nice hotel. However, the breakfast, I think it was like 26 or $28 and we get a little bit of a discount as a crew member, but it's not much. However, I'm so excited. There is a Tim Hortons literally across the street from the hotel. And for those of you who don't know, Tim Hortons is kind of like, like a chain restaurant. 
by like a fast food chain that has like coffee and donuts and breakfast sandwiches and breakfast wraps and like soups and salads and lunch wraps and stuff like that so and it's very cheap so it's kind of like how in the states there's a starbucks on every corner in canada there's a tim hortons in every corner so and i haven't been i don't know if i've ever shared on my vlog but i used to live in canada i lived in calgary for a few years that's where i finished my degree i think i've probably shared when i've like flown to calgary before but we don't do overnights there currently so i am in vancouver bc and it's my first time here i'm really excited to just go walk around a little bit tomorrow our van pickup time is at 12 30 so i don't have a ton of time i'm gonna try to get some sleep so i can wake up go walk over get some breakfast at timmy's and probably just kind of chill after that until we have to go and head out for our flight that's all i've got for the night i'll catch you guys in the morning good night Good morning friends! Happy Monday! It is April 1st. It is the start of a new month. It's about 10 a.m. I'm just now heading out. I'm gonna go get some breakfast. I'm gonna head across the street to Tim Hortons. I was so excited. I was telling my boyfriend that when I moved away from Canada, that was like one of the hardest things. Like I was so sad about not having Tim Hortons again because I used to go there a couple times a week for coffee or breakfast. Like it's just, when you're in college too, like it's just cheap and that's just what you do. But I'm really excited. So I just threw on some clothes uh, brush my teeth threw my hair up a little bit and I'm gonna go get out and we're gonna head across the street and go get some Tim Hortons now I do have Canadian currency like I have Canadian dollars but I totally forgot to pack them like I left them in my studio in Seattle so I'm hoping that it'll be fine if I just tap to pay with my phone let's get going Here she is, we're coming up to her. It was like a four minute walk, it's super short, which is really nice. So let's get inside, I'm so excited. Can I just do the mini egg donut, please? That's everything. Y'all, that was incredible. That just really made my morning and the rest of my day. I ended up getting a little donut to go. I'll eat it when I get back to my room because I need to digest my my sandwich. But that was so fun. I just sat in a little booth in the window and got to soak up some sun. It's actually really nice out right now. And I just ate my little breakfast and hung out and just like sat in peace and quiet. Had a little breakfast date with me, myself and I. So that was so nice. We're gonna head back to the hotel and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do from there. I'll check in after. Okay, 
that was such a fun little adventure i that just like made my morning it was so nice to just get out so i got a farmer's wrap a sausage farmer's wrap and a vanilla latte with oat milk from there which is really nice and i think it came out to like nine or ten dollars canadian and then i on the way out made an impulsive decision i was looking at the donuts they looked really good typically i well typically i haven't been there in years but i used to really like the boston cream that's probably like my favorite one but i ended up getting they had this little sprinkle one with the mini eggs like the chocolate mini eggs on it and i just was so cute and fun and colorful for spring so I ended up getting that and I'm really excited to eat that. But I figured before I indulge in a sweet treat, I should go get a little workout in. It is, I think it's like 1045 and my van pickup is at 1230. So I'm gonna head down to the gym, just get a little workout in. I've never been here before, so I'm not sure what their gym looks like. I'm gonna go see what kind of equipment they have before I decide what I'm doing, but I can kind of do anything since it's the start of a new week. So we'll see what they've got and we're gonna head on down there together. Let's go. I'm gonna tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice, that's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Nice little upper body, chest and back day, a little bit of rear delts at the end. I have to get back upstairs to go shower. I've got an hour until my van pickup time. I'm gonna call my man and get changed and packed up. We're gonna head downstairs. Raspberry on the Mm-hmm. Yep, that's good. Just as I suspected. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alright friends, I am all ready to go. I am going to grab my bags and head downstairs for my van pickup. We are headed back to Seattle. I'm going to tell you that I need you. I need you every day. You'll get weary of my touch. That's how much I'm going to tell you that. Well, our flight got delayed for an hour, so we're just wandering around the stores in the airport because we already got to the airport and got through security. So, another hour delay. I wanna let you know. Our flight got delayed by an hour because our plane that is coming in, they had to turn around and head back to Seattle because they had a medical emergency, I guess. So we're just waiting for them. They went back to Seattle, had to handle that, and they turn around and they're just now taking off and heading back. Our first officer also called out. So there was only three of our crew members heading here this morning, and we are just waiting for our our first officer to deadhead in and join us as well and then we should be good to go i think i'll still be able to make the rest of my trip i was kind of like joking i was like i better not mess up my missoula overnight because i'm so excited for that so hopefully i can get back in time i know we have some passengers that have tight connections as well but it's a short flight luckily so hopefully all goes well and we can get out when we're supposed to and make it back all right beautiful people i made it to the plane i just finished my pre-flight we are going to start boarding because we are delayed so much i'm working in the back it's a 30 minute back uh, it's a 30 minute flight back to seattle and i'm just going to sit in the back and do announcements and then i'll check in when we get there but let's get going i'm going to shout it out yeah up on the mountain like 45 minutes before getting on to my next plane. I'm heading out to my plane now, but my other flight attendant, she has a priority pass, which gets you like free meals in the airport. And so she offered to get me a free meal at a really yummy restaurant. And I was like, yes, absolutely, please. So I got a panini. I still have half of it to eat for later. So I'm super stoked because who doesn't love free food? 
and I'm getting ready to head over to my plane right now, meet my new crew and get set up. We are headed to Pasco. We're doing a Pasco turn, so. I made it to my plane. I am working in the front. Pre-flight is done. I'm just waiting to board. We don't do servers on this one because it's such a fun flight. I'll see you guys there. flight of the day to Missoula so I'm gonna go sit in the crew room eat the rest of my panini that I got from lunch and just cruise for a little bit I was gonna stay on the plane but I just decided that I want to get off the plane for a little bit so I'm gonna go hang out in the crew room and then I'll check in later yeah, I am in my hotel in Missoula. I just, every time I come here, I just get so excited. It just has really good energy and it's exciting and it's just a very nice, lovely place. So if you're from Missoula, I love it. I love your home. It's 11.45 p.m. Missoula time. I definitely want to start getting ready for beds because I want to go adventure tomorrow. We have quite a bit of time. Our van pickup time isn't until 4.35 tomorrow. So I have so much time to explore. I'm really excited. The breakfast here is fantastic. I know I've talked about it in another vlog and I haven't been back since that vlog. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna try something new on the menu, I think. Um, but it's just a really fantastic breakfast. This is where I got the cookies from last time. I got like a whole box of like eight different cookies that were fantastic and so yummy, delicious. And I want to try some new food. I'll probably get something for lunch before leaving. I might try to go on a little hike. There's like an M for Missoula that's kind of like popular. I know a lot of flight crews like to go there on layovers. Definitely decided that tomorrow is going to be lots of walking, lots of moving my body. And then I have two flights and then I get to go home. So it has been such a lovely trip. Today was a really long day, but it wasn't hard. Literally, the flight here from Seattle to Missoula was the very first time that I did service. The rest of the flights since yesterday were so short that we didn't do service. So I just sat and read my Kindle, read my book. I think I told you guys, I'm reading a rom-com. It's called The American Roommate Experiment. And I'm like toward like 70% of the way through. And I was like sitting in the jump seat, like tears welling in my eyes. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm at work. Like I need to calm down. But I'm like, I just love 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 stories of, of other people. I get so connected to the characters and stuff. So it's just been a really lovely trip. Um, all of the flying has been really nice. Like not a lot of bumps in the air, like pretty smooth air. And we had a beautiful sunset coming into Seattle from our Pasco turn. I don't think I vlogged a whole lot from that turn. It was just super short. We were just there and back, but it was really easy. There was nothing really to report. And then I went into the crew room for a little bit and um, ate the rest of my peso chicken panini that I got from lunch and had that for dinner. And then I got to call Damon and just check in with him because we just kind of had opposite schedules the whole day work-wise and I really hadn't talked to him. So it was good to hear his voice and actually, you know, hop off the camera here and give him a call and check in with him for the night as well and just see how his day went. That is like such a fun part of this job is I feel like in this day and age, a lot of couples like well one we're long distance so we talk on the phone a lot anyway but i feel like a lot of couples at least like around my age like do everything together so there's like no excitement in like sharing your day because you did everything together like there's nothing to report to one another so and i think that's really awesome and i'm really excited for that season in my relationship i know that that's gonna happen at some point but for right now it's really nice to like yeah, like I have no idea like about his day and his schedule. Like he's living his life and I'm living my life. And it's so fun at the end of the day to like come together and FaceTime and get to share our stories from the day and our experiences and laugh together or cry together or, you know, like whatever it is. But that is something that I look forward to at the end of the night is just like recapping the day with him and 
getting to connect with him in that way it's really fun and it's kind of like the whole reason i started my youtube as well i was just reflecting on why i love vlogging so much it's because i just wanted to document my flight attendant journey and i love sharing it with you guys i love that you get to be a part of this journey with me and walk alongside me in it like it's just so fun and so encouraging and yeah it just brings me joy so thank you so much for being here for taking time to watch these videos if you have been here since the beginning i appreciate you more than you know and we're growing the channel is just growing and it's so exciting and I'm excited to see what happens in the night in the rest of this year. I've got some really big goals and some dreams and visions that I've been uh, writing down and praying about. And yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And with that, I'm going to stop talking for the night. I am going to get out of my uniform, get into my pajamas. I need to wash my face, brush my teeth, and I'm going to call my man. But I will check in with you guys in the morning. I'm super, super excited for breakfast. I I just love food. Food is a huge part of, of my life and my heart. So I'm stoked to share that with you guys and definitely going to adventure tomorrow. Like I'm committed to it. Even if I didn't sleep good and I'm super tired, like I'm committed to getting up and taking you guys somewhere fun. So we're gonna adventure together. It's gonna be great. I hope you all are having a great night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's 9.30, breakfast ends at 10. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and change and head downstairs for some yummy breakfast. I'm gonna show you I love you to show one hundred times a day. You'll get tired of my lips and that's how much they wanna kiss me. had a lovely breakfast it was super super yummy i tried something new on the menu this time avocado toast with eggs and chili flakes and some other good stuff on it but it was really yummy and had some fruit some chia seed pudding and then i came back up here and got in the word because i didn't do that before i went to breakfast just because i was trying to get to breakfast by 10 and i woke up so late but i saw my first officer down there and he i want to go on this walk or like kind of like a walk hike that a lot of people do here it's like a hike to like the m for missoula it's like kind of in the side of the mountain or like in the side of a hill i believe so i've never done it but i know that other people have done it it's a nice little walk it's a really nice day out it's supposed to be a high of 70 here in missoula i think it's like 50 right now so it's warming up i'm in a sweatshirt and running shorts and some walking shoes so i'm excited i just wanted to get outside so i'm actually meeting my first officer down in the lobby right now we're gonna go do a little walk, come back and shower up and kind of walk around the downtown area by myself or maybe I'll take a little nap and then go do that. I'm not sure. I know I'll have to get lunch at some point so I'll check in there but for now let's go for a little walk together.
Oh boy, you guys, that was an adventure. That was fun, but it was so much harder than I thought that it was gonna be. I thought it was like, just like a gradual, like chill walk up to like the M and it was full on super steep switchbacks the entire time. So it was a lot more challenging than I thought. I got to the M and then decided to go up to, there's like copper mine right above it. It was a little bit more, like probably another like 15 minute walk going uphill, but it was really cool because I don't know that I've ever been to a copper mine. It was like a cave that went all the way down in that you could like crawl into. I didn't go the whole way cause I was kind of spooked out by it, but I just like peeked in. I was like, oh cool. And then headed back down. But I'm like, my joints are like sore. I feel old. I'm like pretty tired from that, but the weather was gorgeous. It was like a little cold when I first started and then it definitely warmed up. The sun came out and it's such a beautiful day. Get from our hotel to where the trail is. I had to walk through the University of Montana. And so that was really fun to like walk through the campus and it was just such a beautiful day out and really, really enjoyable. But I am definitely really hungry and really sweaty. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower and kind of just get ready for work. Like I'm gonna do my makeup really quick and make sure that I'm pretty much ready to go. And then we're gonna head back outside. I am not sure there's one place i've had thai food here before that's literally around the corner it's really good um i walked by a little burger like truck basically it's like a little um food truck and they had six dollar burgers and like shakes and fries and it smelled so good so i might walk back to that i'm not sure i was like i'm just hungry i think i need to go change and just find some yummy food but there's another place here called the notorious pig and I think it's like barbecue. And I've heard of other people going there and really liking it. So I'm gonna kind of see like what all my options are and look up a couple menus really quick. And then I'll let you know where I decide to go, but I'm gonna go rinse off and then we'll go from there. I just got ready super quickly. I am gonna go to that Notorious Pig place. It just looks so good. It's barbecue food and I haven't had barbecue in a while and I've heard really good things from other crew members who went. So I'm gonna head there. It's about a five minute walk. I'll see you guys there. It really is such a beautiful day outside. It is so perfect out. I'm so excited. I believe that they have a patio. So I'm gonna see if I can sit on the patio. I am so full, I could literally barely walk right now, but that was so, so good, you guys. I think for everything, I got a pulled pork sandwich with smoked Gouda mac and cheese, and then fire and ice pickles, which was like sweet and spicy, basically, that they house make, like they, they make fresh every day. And so I was like, okay, I have to try that because I really enjoy pickles and a large drink or like just a drink. It just came in a large cup. It was just one size. I got it all for like 18 bucks. I felt like that was a really good price. I'm literally having a hard time walking and breathing because I was so full. In a previous vlog, I went to a place called Mary's Bakery and got a cookie. But honestly, I am so full that I think I'm just gonna go back to the hotel and just like digest my food and edit a vlog, read, and just kind of like cruise because I walked so much this morning and yeah, I'm just full and I'm kind of, I'm very satiated. So I need to go sit and just breathe and rest before work today. So I'll catch you guys when I get back to my room. You guys, I hiked up there, all the way up there today. <laughs> all right, I just rested for a little bit, worked on editing a vlog. 
and I closed my eyes for like 25 minutes, which was really nice. I'm all dressed, ready to go, and I'm gonna head downstairs for my van pickup. All right, friends, I just got to my plane. I'm working in the front again. I just finished my pre-flight. We've got like 15 minutes until we start boarding. I'm gonna set up my pre-departure beverages because that is a new service that we just started for the first class. So I'm gonna get that set up. I've already got my safety demo kit set up and I'm just gonna get ready to go. We are headed to Portland. made it to Portland. It was a little bit bumpy, but nothing crazy. I was working in first class. We're sitting here for about another hour until we take off back to Seattle and then I am done, you guys. It just landed in Seattle and it is freezing, you guys. It's cold, but we're gonna head to the shuttle.